Mental Fox here with more Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again. We're just outside of Atlas Observatory, a place that we cleared the outside of at the end of the last episode. Some pretty high level enemies here. There were some Mr. Gutsies, uh, Robo Brain, a Sentry Bot, and I have to imagine that those things are going to be waiting for us again this time. Uh, so I was thinking of going in the back door, but before we do that, uh, let's take a look at our uh, leveling up. I was looking at this earlier, and it's, I think it's making a little bit more sense. Uh, I get suggestions on what to, uh, what perks to get, and uh, one suggestion was for a perk called Bloody Mess that's here in Luck. So if I choose Luck here, uh, there's Bloody Mess right there. Uh, so I could get Bloody Mess right away. 5% bonus damage means enemies may explode into a gory red paste. That's pretty cool. But look at all these other perk cards that I have to choose from. Remember I was trying to figure out how to look for this before. Well, this is how you do it. Um, on this screen, just simply choosing it doesn't level you up. It lets you choose a card and then you accept it and level up. That's what I was having problems with. Uh, I also had a uh, suggestion to get the sneak perk, um, which is, let's see, where's sneak? Seems like it would be under agility, right? Sneak, right here. Um, that would be good too, 25% harder to, to detect while sneaking. But I think I'm going to go with this bloody mess perk. Let's go with that, accept. Yes. Okay, so we get the bloody mess perk. And we go up here to luck, and we add bloody mess. There we go. Cool. All right. So now I am going to try to run around behind this place and go in that locked door that we saw at the end of the last episode. If I don't have to fight these robo brains and sentry bot, sentry bot again, I'll be happy. Uh, although I'm guessing that once we get inside, we're going to see some pretty heavy resistance in there, too. Should be interesting to see what is so important inside of this place that would um, necessitate such tough enemies on the outside. Well, so far, so good. Oh, oh crap. Where's this door? Oh, man, I'm going to have to try to unlock this door while this thing's here. Oh, there's a... Ouch. Is it you shooting at me? No? Okay, that was weird. Let's see if we can unlock this. It's like that thing took one shot at me and then gave up. Actually, that... I wonder what that was that was shooting me. I don't think it was that laser turret. Okay, we are inside. It's weird how my I'm holding my weapon now. Don't think I've ever seen myself hold it that way before. Huh. Well, I like the lighting in here. It's kind of nice. Uh, I'm not sure what enemy makes that noise that we're hearing. It already says caution. Hidden again. Is, oh, it is a liberator. I kind of like to hit him. Oh, okay, never mind. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to walk away. And now he's still scrap. So there's liberators in here. Wasn't expecting that. Well, I hear one, but I don't see one. Must be walking around over top of me. The door here. Oh, there's one right there. I wonder if you'll see me I'm sneaking. Oh, there's one over there, dog on it. Oh, there's a bunch of these in here. Ouch. Uh, okay. Still says danger. And it sounds like there's still some in this room. 
There's a lot of uh, Protectron pods there. Let's shut this door. Although we know that that doesn't keep enemies out. Lure weed. Okay. Atlas utility key. Well, that might be something good to have. Here is a terminal, robotics control terminal. Let's check it out. Let's get into this thing. Flourish. One likeness outsider has no likenesses. Uh, produced has one likeness. Nice. Turret control. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, standardized turret control. Please exercise caution around turret. Users should always assume that turrets are loaded and capable of live fire. Uh, let's see. Deactivate, remove targeting restrictions or about your defense system. Remove targeting restrictions. Done. Hmm. And now you hear, uh, turrets shooting <laughs> enemies out there. <laughs> so we'll let them do their job. And then we'll turn off the turrets and we'll go out. Not sure where these turrets are. Causing quite a quite a ruckus out here. Shut him up. Gosh, there's a ton of these things in here. <laughs> oh man, another one. Well, come on, turret, get him. Turret's actually a pretty bad shot, it looks like. Look, he hasn't done any damage to him at all yet. Oh, then he finally did. I'll finish him off. Any more of these guys running around out here? I don't think there's one right here to my left, maybe. Oh, there's one up there. Shut him up. I think what I'm hearing, or what I was hearing, was, um... These Liberators fighting back at the turret, which is like probably right above me here. Well. Okay. Oh. There we go. So that turret, a little slow. Took a moment for it to see me. Another Atlas utility key. Okay, sure, I'll take another one. I don't know, do I need more than one? Oh, hey, how's it going? Man, how many of these things do we have to take out? Okay, we've leveled up. We're at level 47 now. That's cool. Alright, where's this other liberator at? I thought I saw one shoot at me from over here. Oh, up there. Okay. Any more? Sounds like there's still liberators running around out here. This place is kind of crazy. Oh, ouch. Where is he? Where did he shoot? Oh, he's up there. He's shooting at me. How rude. Alright, we're gonna have to clear all these enemies out. Oh, a door to lock, okay. To unlock, I should say. There's a minigun in here, I already picked one of those up. You remember it? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll scrap it. There's a, uh... Couple of, um... Benches out here. Do some scrapping. Lots of locked things in here. Another door. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess those, that turret was a help. But I'm going to turn the turret off. Because it's going to shoot me, too. Scrap items, scrap all junk. Weapons. Uh, scrap this assault rifle. These miniguns. Any apparel I've picked up? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Always good to do some scrapping. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go back over here and turn this turret off and then take out these uh, enemies by myself. I can't have this thing shooting at me. Oh, that's not the right way to go. Oh, oh no, what? Oh, it says no turrets found. Okay, must have destroyed that turret up there. Wow, I would not have guessed that the uh, Liberators would have won in the battle against the turrets. But that is... Appears to be what happened. Okay, I used the utility key. Whoa! Okay, this is getting kind of neat. Alright, we'll go down there a little bit later on. I kind of want to clear this place out if I can. Oh my gosh, this place is looking huge. <laughs> looking like a big place, man. Oh, okay, another turret. Great. Lovely. Okay, danger. Am I invisible? I'm gonna guess not. Crap, man. Another freaking turret? Can I get up here from here? Eh, that doesn't look like there's a little ledge for me to stand on. Metal pile. This place. I'm gonna get confused and lost in here, man. Oh, see, I'm already back in here. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, he must be directly over top. It sounds like he's in the same room. Ooh, desk fan. Okay. Well, there's your requisite mannequin. You gotta have one of those. Metal box. Lots of things that need to be unlocked in here. It's a high security location, don't you know? Ah, I'll take the silver fork. room, maybe. It's interesting. Um, that is a lead pipe, uh, but it doesn't have the magnifying glass next to it, and I have... Whoa, what, what caused that to happen all of a sudden? I have lead selected as the thing to search for. So does that mean that lead pipe does not have lead in it? Let's go see. Scrap. Junk. Oh. Oh, that's because it's a weapon. <laughs> eh. Scrap. I will get concrete scrap and lead scrap. What is it, what is making these explosions? I don't like this. Thought I'd seen another liberator carcass out here. Maybe that's it. Alright, we need to get upstairs so we can shut these things up, man. Um, I can't go up that way because there's a turret. So we're gonna have to figure a different way to get up there. And this might be it if I could walk up this steep slab of concrete right here. And indeed I can. Huh, 
pistol. Well, let's see what's up here. Is he up even yet another level? Is he... Is there another floor? I'm not sure. Maybe he's in this next room. Yeah, I don't know where this guy is. He must be up a level. Oh my gosh. Wow. So now I'm having the feeling that I shouldn't be here yet. I'm having the feeling that later on I'm going to be playing the game and it's going to send me here and I'm going to have to do all this over again. I have to clear this place out again. but. We'll look at this as recon. Man, it goes up even higher. Okay. It's saying caution now. Oh, there might be a bunch of them walking around in here. And I'm thirsty. Okay, not really the time to stop and take a drink. Let's kind of duck behind this corner here. And we'll take care of our thirst. Probably should eat something too. Get a little bit of a melee damage bonus. We'll come in here and whack these guys over the head with the... With our blade. Uh, here's another prototype development terminal. I guess he's yet another floor up above us. I just saw something go up some stairs. Ooh, that was like a level 54 liberator. Did you see that? I was wondering if he would come back down the stairs. I could take a shot at him with my sniper rifle. I don't think I want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a level 54 guy. Nothing? Nothing? Why am I doing no damage to him? Okay then. No damage. I guess I can't hit him through that freaking railing. Nothing. Well, what a load of crap. Man, that was a great sniper spot right there. Here is the prototype development terminal. Is that this one guy making all this racket? Shut him up. Well, then we're going to come over and investigate. Sure enough, he is. Oh, I just scared him away. I oh, got him. Oh, hi, how you doing? Got him. Got him. Still says danger. There must be another one still alive here. It's probably that level 5 dude, right? Or that Mark 5 guy. Danger. Where is he? Where are you? Outside this door? Oh, he sure is. There he is. Come on. Peek 
your head up there. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that must not have been him. There's a bunch of them. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, he hits hard. Is this him? Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? This thing's being manufactured in here? Good grief. There's a ton of these things. Propaganda flyer. What the? Holy hell. This is overrun. Oh, did I get him? At least two more. Holy moly. Mark V has some psychotats. Red star pin. Don't think I've seen that before. These damn things. All I want to do is explore. Where'd he go? Did he go up or did he go in here? Where the hell did he go? <laughs> I guess he went up. Damn things. Sick feeling I'm gonna clear all these guys out, and then another player is gonna come in here and gonna respawn them all. I don't want that to happen. Another one still? I had enough of this crap. Beneath me. Two more beneath me. Access control terminal. I gotta clear this place out, man. I've had enough of this. Still down below. Even below this level. What? You stupid things. One in this direction. Where the hell is he? Looking at the dots on my compass. Trying to figure out where these guys are. And I hear something in this direction, but I don't see anything. Man, this is... This is pretty annoying. So this is one in that direction. I don't know where the other one is. But it sounds like it's in this direction. Ugh. Just checking my headphones to make sure I had them on right. What the hell are these damn things? There's one in that direction. How'd he get over there? Well had about enough of this. Can't go up there because there's a turret. So. Oh! He's made himself seen. Hey, how's it going? What's up, little buddy? Don't do that. Wow, I'm about ready to die here just playing with these little dudes. What the hell? There's another one over there? Grief! I'm getting a, I'm getting some experience points for killing them, which would lead me to believe that they're not. Oh, okay, yeah. Rebuilding the future for a broken nation. Okay. 
Anyway, the fact that I'm getting some experience points from them leads me to believe that they're not being infinitely spawned. You know, they're like some games, some enemies will just infinitely spawn. And you need to find out what's spawning them. Uh, but when you kill them, you don't get any experience points because otherwise that would be an easy way to farm. Ooh. You could call it quantums in there. All right, well, I think we finally shut them up. So now maybe I can finally do some exploring in peace. But uh, somewhere on this level is um, a turret that I'd like to destroy. There's the turret that they destroyed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to get so lost in this place, man. So the stairs going down here. Okay. Where's this? Why didn't I see this? The hell? Where am I? Huh. I don't know. This must be different. Yeah, this is a different piece of machinery from where I was before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? What is this place? I, mean, I know it's an observatory, but what's going on? Accelerator control terminal? Stout. No likenesses, so it won't be fight. Uh, could be favor. No likenesses. Mines. Could be mines. It's not mines. Uh, could be sizes, but it was not sizes. Uh, tanks? Could be tanks. That's not tanks, damn it. body over here. Ooh, he's got some tapes. Atlas Research Logs. Atlas Research Log number 293. Atlas Project Research Log 292. 93. Uh, it's been five months. Five months since that day. They abandoned me. The military never believed in Atlas. Just another weapon. When the nukes fell, well, what did it matter? Atlas, this research. It's been my life's work. We need Atlas. The world needs Atlas. Now more than ever, I have to finish it. Everything I need, it's, it's all here. I just need time. And hands. I've activated all the robots. There are security bots. They were they were programmed for this, but it's all I've got. I can make it work. I replaced the main lens. Finished the particle analysis. I think the accelerator is finally stable. I'm so tired. But I have to keep going. Just a little more. It's almost done. Hmm. Well, some kind of weapon. We don't know what it is he's trying to do. Here's a password. Man. Uh. Oh, yay. Let's unlock this metal box. Kind of like to... Explore this place with some kind of method or pattern so that I see it all. So the password we just picked up, yep. 
Accelerator status. System offline. Accelerator controls. System offline. Okay, well. Don't know if that's something we're going to get to use or not. But uh, we can't use it now. Well, hearing noises, I don't know if that's another one of those robots walking around. Another footlocker to unlock. I'm gonna go through all my bobby pins in this place. Another Atlas utility key, well... They wanted to make sure you found that. Okay. Well. Um. There's this room here with stairs that go up. up to this level oh okay okay we were in the utility place this is the door that the utility key opened now we're back on this main level this is the level where we entered this place okay okay I see all right now if I want to do something to this turret right here wherever it is Where's the turrets? I'm gonna shut this turret off, man. Where the hell is it? It's gonna see me before I see it. Where the hell is it? Um... Why is this thing not shooting at me yet? Did the... Chinese robots... Destroy it? I don't even see where it was. Okay, there's something in there. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm shocked that I could shoot through that. Oh, another door to unlock. Don't forget to look behind the doors. Find some goodies. Security desk terminal. Ooh, assault rifle. Well, yeah, let's um, let's look at this terminal. Security desk memos. <laughs> really? No memos. Okay, guess there's no memos for us. That's kind of weird. Okay, nothing there. Let me know if that happened in your game, too. Man, what in the world? I mean, this, this is the ramp I was going up where there was a turret shooting at me, isn't it? I don't, don't think there's another ramp. No, well, I'm pretty sure that's it. Huh. That's... 
is very strange. This is the room that we were just looking down in, I think. I was expecting to find... There he is, this liberator that I just shot. I shot him when he fell down that hole. Okay, well, very strange about that turret. Got a garage door here. Got a door here. I bet this goes outside. Yeah. But that's that side door that we saw. The one that wasn't locked. Access control terminal. We just use the password. Security door control. Open the doors. Well. A metal box to unlock. This guy had everything locked up. Good grief. These are some tough skill level lock skill zero locks. Okay, now we're up on this level. Another terminal there. Mentats. All right, let's look at this terminal here. Research database terminal. That's cool, we got the password. Archives, A through F. System offline. G through L. System offline. M through R. System offline. S through Z. System offline. Okay, that's not very exciting. Ah, huh. somebody's important. Or somebody, an office that belongs to somebody important. That's what I was trying to say. Here is Atlas Research Log number 104. Atlas Project Research Log 104. Lieutenant Marks and I have begun calibrating the ion beam accelerator. We've hit a plateau at the 300 MeV threshold. Oh, micro-variations in the magnetic flux are disrupting the Betatron induction loop. <laughs> the lieutenant is working on a firmware update for the coil controller. She said she'll have the wobble out by Monday. Assembly of the main device remains on schedule. The Air Force is nothing if not punctual. Colonel Oberlin is still pressing for the facility to be fully operational before the end of the year. As much as I want to see my research in action, we need to proceed carefully. If this goes wrong, the results could be catastrophic. Atlas has the potential to change the world. Or destroy it. So, ion beam accelerator, I think he said? Scientific director's terminal. Local drafts. So Isaac Hammond is the scientific director. Okay, let's do some reading. System or SITM authorized to LTC James Oberlin. Report from way back in January of 76. LTC James Oberlin reporting as Chief Army Scientific Advisor to the Atlas program, replacing Major Kirk Bentley who was deemed unfit for the role. The Atlas program is moving slower than expected. I'm here to do what I can to step it into gear. It is by my discretion that Washington will cut funding if the prototype does not yield scalable results by April. We should not continue to pay for construction of the Atlas accelerator if the technology turns out to be incompatible. Almost two months later. 
prototype results have yielded moderate success. Dr. Hammond has succeeded in initiating light rainfall across a significant localized area. Ah, so they're trying to control weather. Funding for the Atlas program will continue under the condition that Dr. Hammond invest more research into more high energy weather conditions. I've given Atlas engineers the go ahead to initiate or initate, whichever you want, construction or construction of uh, the accelerator while we continue to improve the underlying technology of the Atlas system. However, in an effort to light a fire under their ass, I've made it clear that funding could dry up if we encounter any more significant development delays. And then, many months later, Dr. Hammond has been able to produce a wide variety of weather conditions based on the data his team has been bringing into the lab. The latest prototype resulted in near whiteout blizzard conditions, an unusual occurrence in mid-August, I'll say. Some of the local media is picking up on it, but nothing has been directed our way. Security is tight, and I trust the personnel here to keep things under wraps. The automated security system we've installed has a way of discouraging loose lips. I've got a meeting tomorrow with the top brass back in Washington to go over military application for this technology. The localized prototype won't be much use in a war, but could prove useful during small skirmishes or certain clandestine operations. And then a year later, the Atlas project has been fully approved and funded for military applications. This could prove to be a massive asset in the war effort against China. Imagine blanketing the nation in thick black clouds until the crops die out wiping out naval ports with typhoons, or sending fierce lightning storms against vulnerable air bases to ground air units. Heck, we can even deploy Atlas to quell any potential domestic uprisings. The sky is the limit here. It is my assessment that the Atlas system will diminish the threat of all-out nuclear war. No one would believe that a string of bad weather is under our control. More bodies are being thrown at the Atlas accelerator so we can hasten its production. Current projections place a completion date in the first quarter of next year. Ten twenty-eight, or 10 18 77. Two days ago, I received a letter from my superiors in Washington. From completely out of the blue, they were shutting Atlas down. I was in total shock. I read the details and it was filled with the usual bullshit phrases like cost-cutting measures, risk assessment ratios, and taxpayer responsibilities. It also said further instructions would follow. This honestly doesn't make a bit of sense. I've decided to wait to discuss this with Dr. Hammond, as I'm certain hearing the news will send him off the deep end. 1022. As expected, I've received a follow-up letter from my commanding officer. I was told to go back through all the data that Dr. Hammond collected and adjust the values and the results so that Atlas looked like a failure. Why were they burying the project that could shift the focus of the war? Why were they suddenly being so covert about the whole thing? I had a million questions, but I knew better than to call Washington and ask. Orders are orders. I just broke the news to Hammond, and he instantly flew into a rage. I had to get a couple of MPs to restrain him. I thought he was going to literally kill me. Fortunately, he calmed down and then walked off the property without a word. I don't know if he'll be back or not, but I still have a job to do. Messages. Oh, connection refused. Save control. Disengage lock. There. Uh, one less thing I have to pick with a bobby pin. That's nice. Hmm. Well, we know that Hammond came back. We know that. Because of the uh, the note that we read down below, the holotape that we listened to, that is. And he was determined to finish the job. You notice that last note was left the day before the bombs fell, I think, if I rem remember my lore correctly. So Hammond must have come back after the bombs fell and decided to try to complete the work. Um, what he was going to do with it, I don't know, but uh, I could see... Uh, controlling the weather as being a good thing. Right? You know. In these radioactive times. D. 
Continue looking around this floor. Oh, there's the turret. Oh, another door to unlock. Just a storage room. Oh, we're picking up all kinds of goodies. Ah, uh, hunting rifle, I don't need that. Whatever. Okay. So, here's stairs. Ah, oh, disease cure, cool. Alright, so we were here a moment ago. Okay, is that... Everything there is to see on this level. Golly. I guess. Let's go up. Not sure where the rads I'm getting are coming from. It's pretty neat. Here is Weather Analysis Terminal. Instructions. System offline. Archived data. System offline. Pending analysis. System offline. Data input. System offline. Why are you teasing me like this game? Make me think that I'm going to get to look at some cool stuff, but you just yoink it away from me. Same thing, no doubt. Yeah. Okay. Some deviled eggs, in case we get hungry. Are there four of these terminals in here? Weather analysis. Weather analysis. Weather analysis. Three of them. All right, well, let's keep looking around. Unlock a tool chest. So we've got stairs that go up there. We have an access control terminal. Remote door control. Open door. Okay, we have opened, or we are in the process of opening this door. And I'm pretty sure we saw this door before. We came up these stairs, we saw this door here. So this door is open now. Duffel bag over here. Army data analysis terminal requires a key. Huh, okay. Well, it's gonna be on a holotape. Most probably, right? Master control terminal. System overrides. Oh, critical system error. System recovery failed, menu functions disabled. I have to think that there's a way we're going to be able to turn all this stuff back on. These are the stairs that we came up before. Okay. The safe just sitting out here. It would have been funny if it was unlocked after coming across everything else being locked in here. It would have been funny if the safe of all things was unlocked, but no. Okay.
you know, just some rounds laying around, you know. All right. Let's walk up these stairs, see what's up here. Did I see this? I did not. Oh, I was wondering when I was going to become over encumbered. Um, where were those benches? Eh, this will work. I already have a black powder rifle. I don't need a pistol as well. Okay, cool. Wait a minute. Peril. All right. Let's go up these stairs. <laughs> this is it? Okay. Well, alrighty then. Well, for a place that initially looked huge and confusing, I feel like I've seen everything, but I am still wondering. Well, actually, you know what? I haven't seen everything because we know that there's a terminal that's locked that I wasn't able to get into. So somewhere there's a hollow tape. That'll take us back outside. We don't want to go out there because we know there's going to be a bunch of robots waiting for us out there. Um, trying to remember if there's a room I haven't gone in. Location I didn't visit. Prototype development terminal. Okay, research logs. Okay, access denied. R&D, access denied. Corrupted. Directory corrupted. Okay, so this is a room that... I just kind of ran through before, I think. Another prototype terminal. Just being thorough. You never know. Okay then. Well. Hmm. to look I already looked in there looked around in here more than once Well, um, don't know where else I can look. Pretty sure I shut that door and looked behind it. Huh. Um, whoa, what the? Okay, that was weird. I guess I just turned real quick. Looked in here already. Huh. Well, I, um, I don't know what else to do here. Like I said, somewhere there is a holotape. I'm looking in these little cubby holes down here. Somewhere there's a holotape that I haven't found. Oh, 
damn it. <sighs> All right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me drink something. I got a little too involved in what I was doing. Forgot to drink. Well, we looked in the safe already. I don't know where else to look. We looked at this, right? Password required. Oh yeah, these archives, the system's offline. Okay, yeah, we looked at that. Well, I mean, if you guys saw the holotape that I'm missing, by all means, let me know. But uh, I have not found it. This is the door that goes outside. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess it was kind of cool to explore this place. But... I guess I've seen everything there is to see. Well, I mean, I haven't, because... We know that I'm missing at least something. But... Don't know where it is. The only other place I could think to look is downstairs again. Where were those stairs that went down? Down here. But, we already, we already looked down here. And, um... Didn't find anything. So, there's our good buddy, Hammond. The ball-peen hammer. I wonder if he was killed, if somebody snuck up behind him and killed him, or if he just killed over dead. This'll just take us, uh... Underneath the collapsed part. And then, um. We already looked in there. And then we're back to this terminal. Where the system is offline. Okay. Well. Let's go do it for this episode. Um, I'm gonna guess that maybe at some point later in the game, I'll be sent back here, maybe. Or maybe not, I don't know. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed following me around this place. If you did watch, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching, everybody. I sure hope to see you again in the next episode.